Higher than normal levels of radiation have been detected on ground self-defense force helicopters that flew over the troubled nuclear power plant, even after decontamination. GSDF sources say hundreds of microsieverts of radiation per hour were detected at engine inlets and other parts of the helicopters. The helicopters were used to monitor radiation levels and take aerial pictures of the plant. The U.S. military has informed the Japanese force that radioactive cesium in particular easily adheres to paint used on helicopters and other vehicles. The GSDF is trying to ensure that all mechanics wear protective gear during their work to avoid breathing in radioactive particles. It is also considering the purchase of new equipment to vacuum up such substances. Tokyo Electric Power Company says highly radioactive water is leaking into the sea from a pit at the number two reactor of the disaster hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. We found water accumulated in a pit accommodating power cables near the water intake gate of the reactor number two. The water is contaminated with a radioactivity measured over 1,000 millisieverts per hour. In addition, a 20 centimeter crack was also found on the concrete wall of the pit. And through this crack, the water is leaking from the pit to the sea. TEPCO says water between 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters deep was found in the pit. TEPCO is planning to pour concrete over the crack to stop water from leaking. The company is also trying to find out how water got into the pit and how it is related to seawater contamination. TEPCO says it will start taking seawater samples at around 15 kilometers offshore to check the level of radioactive contamination in addition to the current sampling areas near the power plant. The radiation detected in water in the basement of the turbine building at the number two reactor was about 100,000 times that usually found in the water of an operating reactor. The Japan Coast Guard has rescued a dog from a roof of a house drifting in waters off Miyagi Prefecture. The dog seems to have spent three weeks on the roof since the March 11th quake. On Friday afternoon, a Coast Guard helicopter saw a dog drifting in the sea about 1.8 kilometers off Kesanuma City in northern Japan. Two rescue team members got down to the roof from the helicopter, but the dog was scared by the hovering sound and ran off. Using a small boat, rescue team members approached the dog again. One of them jumped into the sea and managed to catch the dog. When moved to a patrol boat, the dog looked weak and lay down, but later was able to get up and to eat sausages and cookies. The dog recovered enough to wag its tail and lick the face of a crew member. The Coast Guard is looking for the dog's owner.